scribes and Pharisees. Uh -huh. They caught a woman, the Bible said, in the very act yes, of adultery. Yes. You know what my question has always been, Sister Kim, about that? Yeah, it, it, in understanding Bible history, them kinds of women didn't get to live inside the gates or inside the city. They had a place outside that they they had to live. Come on now. In other words, they had their own little community. Amen. They couldn't live among the people that was doing right. Amen. So, you know, in my mind's eye, now what was these old men doing out there messing around that they caught her in the first place? Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. See, but they brought her and they brought her before the Lord, and they said, Master, the fourth verse said that, that this woman was taken in adultery, the very act. Uh -huh. Now Moses in the law commanded us that sh such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? Now I want to tell you something about the scribes and the Pharisees. They were religious people. Uh, religious. They were in charge of the synagogues. They were in charge of making decisions for what we would call the church today, Brother Wilson. But you know where the corruption came from? It wasn't from the people because the people didn't know any better. The corruption came from the leaders. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Oh. Glory to God. The corruption came from the leaders, yes, the scribes and the Pharisees. And in one place, Jesus said that they were a bunch of hypocrites. What did he say? I believe one place he called them backers. <laughs> and this they said, tempting him. Uh -huh. See, you don't mess with tempting God. That's good. God knows the Word. you know why that is? Because He is the Word. Yeah. Jesus is the incarnate Word of God. Amen. Amen. That total Word was wrapped in that flesh. It sure was. And as they tempting Him that they might have to accuse Him, but Jesus stooped down with His finger rolled on the ground as Chloe hurt them not. Have you ever acted before when somebody's just talking stupid, you acted like you didn't even hear them? Honey, that's the best thing to do. Amen. That's the best thing to do is ignore idiocy. Did you hear me? Amen. Sometimes things get to going on in Tinker and Sister Marilyn's family up there on the mountain. And, and I say, that ain't nothing but mountain ignorance. Yeah. They don't know no better. Well, I'm going to tell you something. They some folks ain't never sat long enough in the church house to get any teaching, and they don't know no better. Well, y'all are quiet on me. I'm just going to tell you like what God showed me. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him cast a stone at her. Now the law of adultery was that they be stoned to death. But the law that's recorded, Sister Joyce, is that when a woman is, and I don't understand why it's always the woman. What is right to the dirt? But the, the law said that a woman that was caught in the act of adultery was to be taken and her hands bound behind her and her feet, her ankles, bound together. And they had a scaffold that was anywhere from 9 to 12 foot high. And they stood this woman up on top of that scaffold. And the accuser, the one that had caught her, it had to be the accuser. They gathered up all the rocks they could get. And they threw them rocks, them stones at her, because she had her hands bound and her feet she wasn't that stable. And they would throw them at 
her, tried to knock her off there. Normally, she fell off backwards, and when she would fall, not being able to break her fall, it would normally break her neck and be an instant death. But if that didn't kill her, they had to stand there and stone her till she died. <coughs> Now Jesus had stooped down and he rolled in the ground. And he then said, Ye that's without sin. Uh -huh. yeah. See, he wasn't talking to a bunch of supposed to be just street runners. He wasn't talking to them folks that didn't know the word or the law. He was talking to the scribes and the Pharisees. He was. He said, he that's without sin. Well, to the amazing, but Jesus knew their heart. He knew how stinking they was. Uh -huh. He knew everything they'd done, Sister Summer. But, when he looked up, yeah. and they were all gone. Where did they go? You know, my daddy always taught us kids and my sister will tell you. You just tell the truth about things and you don't have to worry about your story. Yeah. You don't have to worry about what you remember. Amen? Glory to God. Then you be a man or a woman enough, amen, if you've done wrong to take, amen, the punishment. Take what it, what it, it, it costs. That's right. Amen. Pay your bills. Amen. There's a bunch of times my daddy paid my bill for my high dinner. But I'll tell you right now, I didn't get all of them. I should have. But you did me. And through God's mercy and His grace, we've not got all the whippings from Him that we should have had. Come on now. That ain't something But then he looked around and he said, Woman, where is thine accuser? And she said, Lord, I have none. Ain't that, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yes. If nobody from this day forward, Brother Sexton, ever said a false thing about you. Yes. Wouldn't it be wonderful if nobody never pointed their finger at you again? And if you, even if you were guilty, that they feared God enough that they didn't point their finger. He said, where's my accuser? She said, Lord, I have none. Woo! <laughs> she said, Lord, I have none. This is the greatest word you'll ever hear. <laughs> she said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. 